Hello and welcome to a wonderful video. Wait a second, that's not how I say my intros. What is happening? The 10 year anniversary of me. I'm 10 years old. Yes, I look older. <laughs> it's about the YouTube channel Daniel PR 1993 that got over 9,000 subscribers for like four days. Uh, and yeah, that's that one is 10 years old now. That's yeah, that's yeah, that's old. Now, if you check the about page, joined August 7th, 2011. Today's August 7th, 2021. And if it's not obvious, this channel is currently inactive, but you ch check out the new channel in the about page, smiley face. Nobody checks it out, I don't know why. So first of all, thank you for sticking around with me. If you have joined like many, many, many years ago, I don't know how many years ago, thanks for checking around, uh, sticking around, you know, and watching my stuff and being like, I don't know, like this guy seems kind of worth my time. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and on the other side, if you're new to the channel, because, you know, because of my recent videos, which we can discuss later, um, yeah, welcome to the channel. Um, do not check out my older stuff. Don't. Because we will do this, uh, this video, right now. Uncut. Unedited. Okay, the, la the last part was a lie. It it's gonna be edited. <laughs> so you're wondering, okay, what, what was this old channel you have been showing us, you know? Well, I've made a lot of videos. Like, we're talking hundreds and i'm not even exaggerating when i'm saying hundreds because i think at some point the channel had 1200 videos that's a lot of videos right i mean keep in mind it's let's play content you can pump out like 10 videos like 10 episodes like really quick right just record in the batch of four hours cut them up upload them um i sometimes actually edited them so some of them were edited highly edited and some of them were like yeah you know i'm just gonna grab it how it is right more, more or less um but yeah lots of gaming content uh a lot uh, you know also a reaction series of me reacting to reddit memes you know that PewDiePie stole many years later. Yeah, jokes aside, of course, um, that is not like new content. I mean, maybe back in 2015, it might have been new, but yeah, who, who cares? I do have to say some of the things I'm going to say in this video are not 100% true sometimes. Not because I like to lie. No, no, no. It's because uh, my memory is a pepega. I forget stuff. And sometimes I'm like, wait, did this happen in 2011 or 2012? What about 2013 and 14? I don't know. So without further ado, Let's jump into the history of my YouTube career thingy, whatever the hell it is. But actually, we're going to start a little bit before 2011. So, cue the intro. So before 2011, I made like videos with my 100 euro camera, like the Canon camera you got, like the, the, the cheap, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 buck camera you can get, right? that you usually take in, in holidays. That's what we got. So I made videos with that. And they were really bad quality, you know? Surprise, surprise. Mainly about Gameloft games. If you don't know the company Gameloft, you know, they made like uh, pretty much copies of games that were popular on console and stuff, you know, like Uncharted. They had their own game. Uh, they just pretty much, you know, said, yeah, that's ours now. And I recorded them with the camera, you know, not like on screen recording, which like was added like what seven years later on the iPhone or something, I don't even know. So, yeah, we recorded this, and I say we because it was me and Marcus, or also Ifint, that is sometimes in the Twitch channel. So, I think when I did this, I might have been around 16 years old, and I was just pretty much editing with Premiere Pro Elements at that point. So, there was just a cheap version of Premiere Pro that you were able to buy because back then Premiere Pro didn't have a subscription service so you had to like pay the full what thousand bucks or whatever the hell it was so um that thankfully changed <laughs> all right now in 2011 so there's a there's a couple things you know because now it something must have happened in 2011 right that made me want to create this youtube channel to make me want to create content what was that then tell us we're we're on the edge of our seats bro do it! I mean, if you're asking so nicely, I guess, you know, I'm gonna... So, first of all, actually, it was Wonderment MC. So, these couple guys uh, in, from the UK, well, started making, you know, multiplayer Minecraft Let's Plays. In 2011, okay, that was kind of something cool. It was kind of new-ish, right? I mean, there were, of course, channels that... We're already growing much, uh, you know, like quickly, very quickly, because 
Minecraft became so popular. But yeah, they made a lot of videos. And if you go just to the oldest, we had 10 years old. Uh, I don't think the first episode is actually online, no. But it was like old school, dude. It was like, look at this. It's it's 423. And I'm pretty sure it's like a made in what? Uh, I don't know, probably Windows Movie Maker or something. Holy, how many transitions can you have, man? <laughs> I didn't even realize. Hello. This, yeah. um, we may have had... <laughs> Oh my god, this is crusty, man. It's 480p, hell yeah, it's 480p, dude. <laughs> they, you know, they were just really relaxed and chill and fun, you know, like a couple guys that just come to get in the multiplayer and just to have fun, right? It's just, and, and they were like, man, yeah, I want to do that too, recording just some gameplay and stuff. So yeah, they definitely sparked a little bit of, oh, I can do this too. They're just a couple guys. I could probably do this too. I, I mean, I, I had a brand new iMac at that point, I think. So I was like, okay, I, I must be able to do this as well, right? So this was the first one. Well, this was the first one. Who was the second person? Well, of course, there were many, many others like Peanut Butter Gamer that I also watched at that time, Space Hamster, you know, and Kid Icarus, and I think they kind of influenced, of course, my humor. But also one of the first people that made me also not only aware of a game, which is Terraria, uh, but also like came across so cool, so good, and I really wanted to just make content like it or just it pushed me to be like, I can do this. And that was Paper Bad VG. He made also a lot of videos, obviously, about a variety of other things. I think he switched at some point to streaming and now is more of an on a break and makes actual music. I, I don't know if I can play it, you know, I don't know if he wants that. But check out P Bad uh, moving on. It's real ass. It's a chill ass song. And I'm like, OK, OK, yeah, I fuck with this. Let's go. So we are eight years old now. So we have like, we don't know, Minecraft, Dishonored, damn Dishonored, it's Spelunky. Um, of course, League of Legends kind of was this big thing that he, um, you know, did back then. And yeah, we have like Minecraft Survival. Season five in 2012, okay? That was like, that's my jazz, bro. I love it. So I, I just sucked up all that content, you know, into my brain. And, um, but yeah, it's like my Minecraft content, right? But I think he uh, uh, usually added a variety of, of mods that were available at that point. You know, he really tried to make every season that he like recorded a little bit different. I think it's because survival as in it's, you know, like hard mods. So, oh no, you need like, oh, hunger and thirst and, and uh, I don't know, lightning strikes a lot and blah, 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 you know? So, it, it, it was so cool to see that back then in 2012. I'm like, yes! Like, it's cool to see this now in 2021. And I recently watched a full Minecraft Let's Play or like 40 episodes of one from... Oh my god, I watched his name again. Ah, yeah, it was Ethos Lab. Yeah, it was. Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't watch the Hermitcraft stuff, but the other stuff. Where is it? Terraform. There we go. I think that's what... Uh, those were the videos. Watched, yes, I'm pretty sure I watched these videos recently. So, anyways, um, Minecraft, right? Minecraft just never dies. Either way, back to um, Paper Bad VG. So, yeah, he made in April 29, 2011, he made a Terraria video. That was before the release, by the way, because he got contacted, or I think they contacted each other, I don't know, uh, with the developers. So, he was, I think, maybe the first Let's Play of Terraria that is that was on the website that wasn't the developers, maybe. And as you can see, it looks real crusty. 2011, everyone. Um, keep in mind, I just recently saw this uh, on the wiki. They started the development of Terraria back in January of that year. It released in May. So this was four months into the development, and it was like an alpha or something. It's insane how quickly they pumped out Terraria. Good old Terraria, isn't it? That's, that's, um, yup. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, that sun, bro. That sun. <laughs> it's fun to see this, but keep in, keep in mind, this was 2011. Nobody knew about Terraria, and this seemed like that game for me, obviously, back then. And I just... That also, like, really brought me, I think, uh, into uh, Paper Bad VG's channel. I think I actually found this video first. 
and then I looked up his Minecraft Let's Plays and Minecraft movies that he did, which were like seven hour long Minecraft like recordings. Uh, it's, it's, it's just fascinating. It's just at that time that just blew my mind. And I wanted to do something like that. But also back then, I think it was in 2011, I rem remembered recording some real crusty Minecraft videos of myself at that point. And that was actually on an old channel that was called DanielBR93. Yes, you may realize that's this channel you're watching it on right now. No, it's actually not. So there was a different DanielBR93 that I accidentally deleted. <laughs> That kind of sucked because I really don't like Daniel BR 1993 because it's just so long and eh. And I always use Daniel BR 93. So I had to make 1993. So it's somewhat similar, but it's also not the same. And I'm like, Ugh. I hated it. I hated it. I, I, it's not like I hate the channel name. I mean, it's kind of dumb, but it doesn't really matter. You know, the channel name doesn't matter. If the content is good, you watch it. And if it's called uh, Poopsie Boopsie, you know, it's like... <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Oh, cool, another cooking tutorial from Poopsie Whoopsie. Let's go. Either way, I recorded a Minecraft con uh, Let's Play or video uh, 480p, really bad frame rate. Like, looks looks really ass. I think it was laggy as heck. It was 2011, and I uploaded it. And someone actually on Twitter, I think it was maybe a German guy, um, messaged me and was like, hey, "Yeah, that doesn't that ain't looking good, dude. You gotta, you know, that's that's a little bit bad. Not like in a negative way, but he just gave me feedback, and I'm like, oh yeah, actually, now that you said, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and then I think I started, you know, comparing it to Paper Bad VG and Wonder Wonder Man and MC, and I realized, oh yeah, 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 this, 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 yeah, well, whatever I recorded, this ain't good. <laughs> and out of sadness, I deleted my chill. No, I just, I'm a dumbass. I couldn't read, you know. I just deleted it, and yeah, then mate. The new channel, the new old channel, I mean, not this. Okay, now it gets complicated. So why did I make videos? Um, it's a good question, Daniel. It's a really good question you put into the script. I, I thank you. So it was a creative outlet for me after one to two years. Um, uh, again, when I made videos with Marcus or Ifint. So I didn't make anything and, you know, I had this itch. I wanted to do something. And with my PC or my iMac at that point, I was like, I, I can do something. I anything right i was 18 at that point and i was already like working a couple of years as a, a print technician or an apprentice as a print technician whatever you want to call it it seemed like this is not the way to go like i didn't really like the job i couldn't really do the job because nobody put me on the machines but i also didn't have a talent for, to work on the machines right clearly this was not the way to go and yeah i was like hey a youtube channel why not make some videos and like i said you know with wonderment mc and people bad vg creating content so i got really pushed on making that in 2011 and was like this 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 is this is possible as a kid you usually see like things is like okay that's cool i will never ever be able to have this in my life or it's just so far away it doesn't matter but this wasn't far away right you have a you have a you have a pc a computer you can record stuff that's it. Uploading and rendering and all this. Yeah, that might take time, of course, you know, like a slow PC takes longer and the slow internet takes also longer. But it's like, it's possible. In 2011. Not now. 10 years ago. <laughs> this is where my memory goes a bit hazy. And I'm not quite sure how and why and everything happened now until like 2013. Because what the hell did i actually do until 2013 because if you look at the channel now the old one the, the new old one the daniel br 1993 the last video is from 2013 there is nothing before it you know or the video the the last before time dude so I, i'm i'm not quite sure what happened to be honest i do not know i know i i deleted a lot of videos on that channel i i don't know if i deleted the videos before that it might i I might have, to be honest, I might have very much done that because I remember one Let's Play I did. And I th that may have been in 2012. So in this year, I actually made a full Let's Play of Cave Story Plus that started in German and then slowly transitioned to German plus English. But why did I start it? speaking English because I wasn't confident in my English back then. I'm I'm, I'm actually even a little bit less confident now. Uh, no, <laughs> but it's I had school English. That wasn't good. You know, it was serviceable. OK, I guess. Uh, but I didn't feel confident in speaking English in English. But somebody or multiple, multiple, two multiple people 
they pushed me. And with pushing, I mean like, hey, how you, how would you do this? Uh, yeah, they, they wrote this in the comment. So one of the first people that found, I think, my channel that actively communicated with me was Slushy. Um, what to say about this beautiful guy? Uh, he's Austra South Australia. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't. That's, that's all I can do. You know, I don't know more. You know, I'm sorry. Um, so he made a lot of videos back then. I mean, the oldest one is three years old. It doesn't even feel three years old. It feels like five. Man, my God. Anyways, um, he made a lot of videos about indie games, you know. Clearly, the best thumbnails you have ever seen in your life. But the content was actually really nice because he showed up... He showed some really interesting um, indie games that you probably never heard of. Um, and most of them were from itch.io. And yeah, he started commenting because I played Cave Story Plus, you know, the biggest indie game, I think, more or less. Or, you know, it started to research, I guess, in 2011, you know, with Let's Plays and all that. Who knows? And yeah, he, he, he commented frequently. And then there was another guy, I think, from the UK. I couldn't find him. I'm sorry. I, I think he briefly went on some, some, some three-year project and was gone and came back to the internet, more or less. Uh, I think he was from the UK. Um... He may have unfriended or blocked me on Steam. I do not know. Um, but both of them were very active and chatted with me and helped me, you know, and pushed me to, you know, speak English. This is the reason why I speak English now in my videos. It's pretty much because of them. So I do not know what happens now until 2013. I, I, I may have just played more and more games, more and more indie games and stuff. I, I know I played a lot of games because we're going to talk about this a little bit later. Um, but I do not know. So, um, cue the next card. So 2013 appeared. Um, you know, it just appeared out of nowhere, right? Like after 2012, there came 2013. Nobody thought of this, you know, it's a whole new concept. Um, so after my military, uh, time and my apprentice job, which then finished, at the beginning of 2013, I think in January or February, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, I was free to do whatever I wanted to do. You know, there, there, there were no shackles. I wasn't like strapped onto something, you know. It, was, it felt pretty good, you know. I'm not into BDSM, I'm sorry. I know, I lost all my subscribers now. I'm so, you know, it would be kind of sad and also I would be really worried what subscribers I have, you know, brought to my channel now. If everybody unsubscribes and be like, oh, you're not into BDSM? Yeah, okay, people leave, by. Uh, soon after that, I bought my first PC. Like, you know, a, a Windows PC. Like a really big, solid thing. That was the big ass white case you probably saw in a lot of videos. And that big ass white case has now died because <laughs> it actually uh, recently, I put, I took out the hardware, put it in a new PC for someone else. And the case I said, throw it away. Um, so yeah, that happened. So rip that case. It did a lot of good stuff. Uh, seriously, do not buy that case from Corsair. It sucked ass. The new Corsair Airflow cases look 10 times better by these. So now with this new PC uh, 680 graphics card in 2013, you know, I was ready to rock the world. To make gaming content like nobody have, has ever seen. So I made my first vlog. Vlog number one, gaming setup plus channel update. Ooh, a channel update in 2013? Hell yeah. Hello and welcome to a wonderful vlog with me, Daniel BR1993. Oh, and here Razor. we are with, yeah, this is my keyboard. <laughs> and it's kind of wonderful because, um, yeah, I got my new PC. I will show it a little bit just uh, in just one to ten minutes. And yeah, if, you, if you're following me on Twitter, in the, descri in the description is a link. Um, follow me. I talked I'm like sleeping. three months. so funny seeing yourself like ten years younger and being like, hey, Daniel, you suck ass. You have about this few for one solid minute. Very good. Very good, Daniel. You know, I literally think I took my webcam and be like, <gasps> very good. Very good, Daniel. Yes, good job. That thing. Exactly. So that PC just recently got is, is dead. Rest in peace. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you liked it, please like it or maybe share it or uh, share my channel. So no, if you if you like, I did not uh, enjoy Minecraft, this. There's gonna coming some minecraft uh, no also. no yeah, no definitely. please no minecraft please stop february 21st 2013 
So this was, this is actually the very, very first video on my channel. If you go to videos and you go to oldest, this is the very first video. And funny enough, I literally made a vlog too. <laughs> I think between those, there were a lot of videos I deleted and took out. Um, this is like March, so this is like a couple of weeks later. But keep in mind, back then, she's gross. What the heck was that face, bro? What the, the what the, who's this guy? Dude, what the, the heck? Anyways, this is actually where I'm a little bit surprised, and I do not know how it happened. So I said, Terraria came out in 2011. I had an iMac. Terraria was not, you know, wouldn't be. You was you weren't able to play it on on Mac yet. But I made my first Let's Play of Terraria two years later, right when 1.2 came out. That was when I was like, yes, I love Terraria. Time to make a Let's Play of it. I do not know what happened, why it happened. Like, I always thought in my mind I bought the PC because of Terraria, but clearly I didn't. So I have no idea why I bought a gaming PC two years later after Terraria released. I seriously don't know. I can't give you this behind the scenes thoughts and ideas. I, I seriously don't know myself. I don't know. I, I, I think I may have found some sort of the trail of 1.2 and then I was like, okay, I need this new PC now. Maybe that was my thought, but I don't know if I played actually Terraria before 1.2. I'm guessing. I, I must have, I think. All right, so Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. I'm gonna turn it a little bit down. It's a little bit loud. Let's go. Hello and welcome to a wonderful video. We are here with Terraria 1.2. Terraria, Terraria, I don't know. Anyways, 1.2 is here. I'm gonna play it and I'm very excited. Oh, good, good content. Oof. It's funny because this is exactly the opening I kind of hate and hates uh, hate now in some videos. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe it's just nostalgia, you know, hitting me and being like, oh, that's cringe, bro. Oh, that's cringe, bro. <laughs> Uh, my very first Terraria video, and you, you know, for that time, it was actually good. If you're like, what? You uploaded in 1440p, Daniel, bro? No, actually, that was when YouTube was a little bit of a bitch. 1440p co content and 4K content on YouTube, I think 4K actually came later. It, it had like such a low bit rate, right? So I forced to, I recorded in 1080p. Rendered it in 1440p with a much higher bitrate, so YouTube, you know, actually shows it in a higher bitrate. It was kind of a way to, I think, circumvent a little bit the system. It, in the end of the day, who really cares? Because who can run 1440p back in 2013, right? The goddamn iPhone 3 or something, uh, iPhone 3G came out and was like, oh yeah, cool, thanks, let me watch this on my 480p screen or something. And who cares, really? I think everybody has like... I mean, it definitely looks a little bit better than some of the Minecraft content I probably did at that point. Uh, but still, you see it still looks a little bit like weird. It doesn't look too sharp, but still. At that time, I was, of course, very happy to do this whole thing. Hey, cool, Daniel. Uh, nice. I see nothing, dude. I don't see anything, Daniel. So this came out on October 1st, 2013. Funny enough... Six days later, I said, hey, yo, I got 150 subs, bro. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Um, Hello and welcome to a wonderful video. We are here with probably 150 people. Yeah, sorry, Daniel. There are 61 views on this video. Um, yeah, it's not 150 people. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, I also don't have these figures anymore. <laughs> Rip Nami, you know, rest in peace. You know, I'm sorry. Everybody who likes One Piece. Yes, I threw I, some of them. I literally threw in the garbage. I know. I'm sorry. They were like 30 bucks. They were they're like the cheap ass figures so as terraria grew my channel grew and i also made a lot of videos so many videos that the 1.2 let's play which had 40 episodes i finished in less than one month that was because i recorded i think so much that i was able to push out so much content because i pushed out two episodes a day that was insane actually at that time like i was insane right keep in mind i have nothing else to do i love what i'm doing right now i love playing terraria let's do more right and when i when i say let's do more i do more like there is nothing that stops me and the thing is that those let's play videos were actually kind of insane i don't know if this is where the 1.2 let's play was that or the 1.3 but i remember putting out a lot of videos like for many many years to go and lots of them were edited and I pushed out a lot of content every single day that made me extremely fast at editing. I can edit videos now extremely fast. The 
I think that that's kind of the good part, right, of making YouTube videos and so many, because you get so fast, so fast with the software, right? Because you use the software constantly, so you get faster and faster and better. But also at that time, I made some really dumb content, uh, which was my Rage Awesome Nox videos, bro. Hell yeah. So yeah, that was cringe as heck. I'm really sorry if any of the developers saw that at that time, because imagine you're working on this indie game for a couple hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours. And there's this cringy Austrian boy raging while playing your game and uploading it on the internet. Like, can you stop? You know, so I did. Um, way too late, though. I think I made like 23 videos. Because I made like those rage highlight videos, which were similar-ish to Call of Duty, um, I, uh, well... Somebody found me or, you know, we, we found each other, I guess, maybe through YouTube, through Twitter, I don't know, which was uh, Mosh Potatoes, which I was actually uh, somewhat of a, like, I wouldn't say friend with, you know, but we knew each other, we chatted, we helped each other, right, a little bit with YouTube, but I'm also a goddamn dick when it comes to sometimes competitiveness, and yeah, I pretty much just pushed him away because I'm an idiot, so I'm really sorry for that, for being a goddamn idiot ass to him i think at some point but he also recently i think stopped i guess he said goodbye seven months ago and then made a gaming montage i guess so maybe like the finale of the finales but yeah at some point i guess you also have to stop because you know like if it doesn't work it doesn't work right if the content just doesn't get the fuse all this time you're investing in this you could invest in something other right in yourself in another project and uh beside him there was also another person, which is Beastly Downs. Look at this beautiful man. So yeah, Beastly Downs, or Robbie, he found my channel, um, I think around the same time, because he was also a fan of Mosh Potatoes. And he also, like, watched my stuff back in the day. I think he he might have been active, like, two years ago, right? He, I, I think he has some sort of, like, life now. I don't know what that is. If Comment down below if you know what a life is. And I think he also has a wife and is married. I don't know what that is either, you know. Just comment down below. So yeah, jokes aside, I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing good. And uh, yeah. Also, it's actually insane. Because he's the insane guy that I think watched so many of my videos that he felt like he needed to donate a hundred dollars at some point to me. A hundred. Okay, that's insane. It's absolutely insane. So thanks again for that. Wait, why is it muted? Okay, now after my thank you, I have to say sorry. What the heck? So after like a couple months actually, you know, like from October 1st to December 21st, I gained a thousand subscribers and I made my first Q&A video. And um, yeah, uh, a camera is still, you know, mm, crusty, you know. It's funny how bad this looks and you know how not much different this looks. I don't know. Could, could, I think it actually looks worse in the video. I don't know. And also the question in the thumbnail was, are you black? And actual mosh potatoes asked this, so I'm not quite sure how I answered this. So let's let's see. HX asks, are you black? My balls are black. <laughs> Come back. Oh, the cringe, bro. Holy... What the, f what, the, what the fuck does that even mean? Anyways, away from that cringe. Uh, so I finished, you know, the 1.2 Let's Play. I get a lot of subscribers. All right, how to, you know, replicate this and get more subscribers and finally grow the channel. Because, you know, I've had the channel since 2011. Nothing really happened. I made videos from 2013, the beginning, until October. Nothing was happening after like six, seven months. And then it clicked, right? Terraria clicked. So I started making more adventure map videos. So those were maps pre-created from other people that you downloaded and played in. So it's like an, it's, it's, it's an adventure, right? You try to play through this map that someone created for you. Hello and welcome to a wonderful episode. We are back with Terraria. With the adventure map, with the first episode of our adventure map called... Adventure! Exclamation mark? Is that the right... Right down, Dave and now. Were my intros really that cringy? Like, I didn't even realize it at that point. And they might be cringy now, E2. I don't... You know? Yeah, they might be. I'm sorry. 
So 2004 came and I continued on to make more and more and more adventure map, of course, as they came along, even after like, I think like six months after the first adventure map I made, you know, I pretty much played all of them that were, that were available at that point because, you know, gotta make content somehow. But there was another game that was very similar to Terraria that has been, you know, brewing on the interwebs. I don't know what that is. Starbound. So I jumped on that Starbound train real quick and made a lot of videos. I think 40-ish videos, something, I think a little bit more. Yeah, it's just a cool game, you know? but it's also very similar to No Man's Sky when it released or when the beta of Starbound released because you go to planets, you grab ore to make better armor and weapons, you go to the next planet to make better armor and ore, and you go to the next planet. You see this, what I'm doing right now? I don't know what that even is, what I'm doing right now. So either way, it's pretty much the same. I don't know if it's so similar to No Man's Sky, to be honest, but it reminded me a lot of it, how No Man's Sky is right now, more or less. More or less. So, yeah. Starbound. I recently played it. Doesn't really hook me, but... There was a boss in the, uh, I think in the promotional material or uh, they wanted to add in the future, but it wasn't in the game yet. But me being like a film editor, you know, being so good at Premiere Pro, I had this urge to kind of create a similar feeling as if the boss spawned. When I created the Starbound edit, it is very similar to whenever I do other stuff like it, where I use the music to edit, to cut, and it happened multiple times with the Starbound edit, with the Horizon Zero Dawn moment um, in my recent videos. I don't know, I made another Terraria video that was also very similar, you know, it used the music to its advantage and edited the, the video all around it. It always reminds me of this. I never for I've never ever forgotten about this video and this specific edit at the, fi at the finale since seven years now. Because it just, it reminds me back of this feeling, you know, that I first i think had when i made this video so let's check it out if it's really that good okay i'm building a bridge good more bridges yes more bridges yes okay okay we got we got the point now a big thank you to everyone who watched the let's play I don't even know where I got this music from. I think it's actually from Starbound. And this is for you? For me? I like the sound effect. Just the sound effect alone of the fire. That's pretty good. <laughs> A fucking PNG, dude! <laughs> that PNG, man. <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Cry, man. I'm crying. It's so beautiful. Dude. Could, uh, could have been probably edited a little bit better with more content, right? With a variety of like gameplay and stuff or some something else happening that just building a bridge. Yay. Anyways, it's good. I really like it. So we have reached 2,000 subscribers uh, at that point now. And, you know, people kind of started noticing that I had a little bit of an issue with my eye. And I still have that lazy eye until now. You know, I'm too lazy to fix it. <laughs> Hi, is this close enough? Hello and welcome to a wonderful video. We are here with my Q&A number two. Um, I got a lot of comments, so thank you very much for that. And this is also kind of like a 2,000 subscriber special, so... Okay, still cringe. Um, the funny thing is I actually, it, I actually did the thing that I don't like to do or didn't like to do. It's literally cutting up the camera way above the head. You have so much room to show yourself like I do right now, right? I, I, I have it like this to show more of myself. I literally cut myself up here, like about here. Even though I had, what, like 200, 300 pixels more. Come on. Put the camera down. Yeah. So yeah, who knows if I will ever fix my issue with my eye, you know? Subscribe now so you might find out in another 10 years if I finally fixed it. <laughs> Seriously, please. Oh yeah, so so I made a song um, that is very cringe. Um, you don't have to watch it. No, no, stop! Fish, fish, fishy fish. 
fish, 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 fishy fish, 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 fishy fish, 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 fishy. Do we really need to watch the full video? We don't, right? Seriously, please stop. Get me out of this hell, dude. I think they had to create, you know, a new layer in hell just for this, you know. Where this plays at 2,000% volume, bass boost. <laughs> Seriously, if somebody takes this and bass, boost, bass boosted it and uploaded it, I wouldn't say no. Do it. Fishy that was a shark. 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 Okay, good. That's enough. Thing. Okay, yeah, thing. Okay, okay. We're done with this. Let's go. <laughs> Next. This is actually what I said with the whole... I like to do like videos of music and edit and all this jazz. So I did this actually here and I, I, I think I still like this video. I don't know. I will check it out a little bit if I still like it. But yeah, I tried myself on some challenges. Keep in mind, I'm still trying to do Terraria content. It's now September 2014. So nearly a, a year after my 1.2 Let's Play, there are no new updates of Terraria. I have to find something, right? Something to make more content of to grow my channel. too loud dude. <laughs> that was kind of interesting so i built actually this whole arena by hand if i remember correctly um and yeah so destroy is a hard mode boss and and defeating it. Oh, I actually did some some of this Spectre Armor Mask. 42 defense. Nice. I actually added some stuff. So I wasn't even dumb and just uploaded like this, right? Like to give some context. See, I, I, I mean, it's kind of dumb because I used the Spectre Armor, which is like, you know, after hard mode. Like way after hard, like after hard mode, right? Uh, but I'm using the Water Bolt, which you get actually in the dungeon. So really early-ish on. So pre-hard mode. Um, so it was kind of a nice challenge, right? So yeah, there's that. Um, 3,000 views probably wasn't really worth it, let's be honest, you know? But 26 likes seems kind of high-ish, maybe? I don't know. And no dislikes, you know? No dislikes, hell yeah, you know? Somebody dislikes it now, I swear to God. No, seriously, dislike it, I don't care. So I, co I completely forgot I actually made videos like this. My top five indie games of 2014. I completely forgot I made videos like that because I make similar videos now. I don't know, I think it's like a video or type of content you can pretty much always make, right? Because it's, if, if it's not long and if it's not too long, like my one hour video, uh, and you talk about like so many games and give all your, like all your thoughts of it very quickly to the point, I think it's kind of enjoyable to watch, right? Funny thing enough, I actually mentioned Hero Siege in this whole video at some point. And also, there we go, Hero and Siege, which was completely different back then. Look at how Hero Siege looks. This is nothing like how it looks now. So, uh, very impressed on how they improved Hero Siege uh, with an actual story and, you know, like... Because this was just a wave fighter, right? You're in the ar arena, monsters spawn in. And you just fight and fight and fight and kill and, you know, stuff. But there was another game, if I find it. There was also this game, Magicians and Looters. Um, I think it's a Metroidvania? I'm not quite sure. It was very basic, as you can see, like, graphically. It looks really... It doesn't look good. You, you can't make, like, any cool trailers out of it. it. It's not marketable, I feel like. And, yeah, it had some issues with... Um, I think gaining any like attention on online but god damn it is the soundtrack good i will just play a little bit of the valley right now and it's it's so oh, it's so such a good soundtrack and i'm like yes please more Good, right?
so good. Oh my god. God damn. You can't tell me this wasn't sick. You know, like seriously, listen to it fully again. I think somebody actually recently uploaded it on YouTube. Um, it's oh it's the valley from magicians and looters it's oh my god it's so good oh now i'm sweating bro holy heck it's good it's good stuff i love it so i made other content in 2013 and 2014 uh and obviously onward you know of many many games and i privated them for i think some time and then i think i downloaded them and uploaded them on daniel br old so this is another channel okay so there's now you kind of you kind of need a whiteboard now you know with all the channels i have and all the connections i think over 300 videos now there are a lot of videos on the channel and i yeah all of them private that i think i will keep them like this because i truly don't know you know what i said in those videos and um yeah, there, there a lot of games. Wait, I, I wrote them down. So games like Saints Row 4, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, Witcher 2, Metro Last Light, Metro 2033, Bioshock Infinite, Prototype, Tomb Raider, Devil May Cry, like the, the remake, the new one, whatever. Um, uh, Battle Block Theater, Alice Madness Returns, Remember Me, and many more, I think. So it's... it's There are, there are a lot of Let's Plays on there, right? But I just... The problem is I downloaded them with some software or with a, like through a website and it downloaded them with a really eh resolution and really bad frame rate. So everything just looks ass. So I privated it all because it just, it's just bad content, right? It just doesn't look good. So uh, this is my actual, my remember me, like number one, let's play, who cares? But <laughs> at that time, I kind of stole the intro from someone just just a little bit, you know, just, maybe you maybe you realize it if you were into that type of content back in the day. Warning, the following game is rated M. If you aren't old enough, don't watch it. It has blood, gore, and other bullshit. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Oh my god. Um, so if you do not know what that reference is to, right? Let me play you another thing. Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Doctors. You may see the similarities now, you know? <laughs> Daniel just copying other people, you know? This was actually uploaded on July 16th, 2014. I think he made other videos before the two. By the way, this is KYR Speedy or Speedy W03, which I think does more uh, Twitch streams now, as, as far as I saw. And uh, mine is in 2016. Wait, this is 2016? But we're still in 2014. Okay, time to remake this whole video. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to mention this because I think that I, 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 it's just so funny. All right, let's switch to 2015. So 2015 rolled around, you know, and, just, I found, and I found some mods, you know. Modifications to Terraria. Sounds pretty good if I can play more Terraria, you know, because I was addicted, I guess. And so I found this, you know, mod maybe nobody has ever heard of, you know. So it's, uh, uh, it's, it's called... Hello and... No, it's not called Hello, shut up, Daniel. It's called Terraria Mod, or Terraria Thoria Mod. You may have, you may know this name, you know, uh, because I'm literally playing the Thoria Mod right now live on my streams. So if you want to see the finale of my Thoria Mod playthrough, go check out my streams because tomorrow is Sunday and I'm gonna probably finish it. So go check out this link, twitch.tv uh, twitch slash DanielBR93. So with Terraria 1.3 being announced back in June 24th, 2015, and having a growing YouTube channel that makes Terraria content, I jumped on the update like a jump on insert mom choke here. Wait, why did I write it like this? Uh, anyways. <clears throat>
started through our room. <laughs> Let's go. Hello and welcome to a wonderful video. We are here with Good intro, I would say. It's a good intro, you know, a lot less cringe, I would say, you know, a little bit cinematic, you know, of, hey, I played this two years ago, you know, in October, and here's another Let's Play of Terraria 1.3. So I think this is actually a good intro. Good job, Daniel. You aren't as cringe as 2013, Daniel, you know, if there's a cringe scale of this is 2013, Daniel, this is 2015, Daniel. I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs> So clearly this video got a little bit more views with 14,000 views now after six years about that. And also I played expert mode. So I, that was the new mode, right? Which is like stupidly difficult. And um, of course I played mage because I'm a mage cuck. Um, now, two years after I made those cringy awesome knots videos, you may remember, you know, I made a reaction to that. So hello and welcome. To That's a not a good case. That's not a good camera angle. To my first videos, uh, most, mostly awesome nods. Only awesome nods. Good job, Daniel. Yes, you're still as good as writing as scripts and intros. Perfect. Do something else because annoying out. Oh my god! <laughs> I just realized something. So I guess I'm just talking about my audio issues that I had uh, while sometimes recording, and you know I'm mentioning it right here. Like had some audio issues with the audio. Sorry about that. Going to be fixed next episode. Have fun watching. You know what those are? You know what these are with the the button up here. They're annotations. The thing that YouTube killed. Those were the black boxes on top of the videos. Oh my god, I completely forgot about them, dude. Anyway, so that was a thing, I guess. And they never worked on on mobile, which is just so dumb, right? That's probably why they made the whole new annotations and whatever they're called now, right? But yeah, those are like, this is old school, dude. Like, it's not old, old school, like a star system, right? But still, it's kind of like old school now, right? Now we don't have this anymore. Oh, also back in the day, I also made like playlist buttons and also buttons that go to the next and previous episode. I don't know, I find this pretty cool, right? It's kind of like Netflix kind of thing where you can go forward and backwards or YouTube videos where you can now go forward and backwards, um, but it's all algorithm. But I made like annotations where it's just a, you know, just one of those arrows where when you clicked it, it brings you to the next episode of a long Let's Play. Which is really cool, right? So you can always click the next button and you go to the next episode. So you can like watch them all. Um, even though there's a playlist where you can click play and it plays it all. But back in the day, that may might have been different. Who cares? Weirdly enough, I have a connection to iDubs. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. You know, the internet is a, is a fascinating place. Um, so yeah, Slushy, uh, which I mentioned previously, who made the indie game videos and, and, and showed off itch.io games... Uh, fairly uh like pretty much weekly um and idubs also being in the indie game scene they knew each other and i knew slushy so i somehow like <laughs> kind of knew idubs more or less and yeah i i i think i just briefly talked to idubs i think more back in the day but my first message was in on december 28th 2015 on twitter in direct messages um I offered him a Crunchyroll guest pass. The weep in myself was strong back then. That was my first interaction with Idubs, and he's like, no, give it to somebody else. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I actually asked him or pri uh, private message him back in the day when I made a video about something about One Piece. And my channel got its first copyright strike. Oh no, it got copyright claimed. And I was like, okay, this sucks because this is definitely fair use. After about, I think, a couple weeks or months, I got my first copyright strike. They go away, so until now, it's probably, you know, it's anyways gone. But yeah, I messaged him, you know, and Idubs tried to help me, and, uh, you know, it, it was really nice. It was really nice to just talk to him, and, uh, you know, because he's, like, a bigger YouTuber, right? You're like, oh, a bigger YouTuber, and, you know, he was able to help me uh, in some ways, uh, but at, in the end of the day, I didn't want to, like, waste his time, waste my time, and I was like, you know, I have this copyright claim now. Who cares? And you're funny enough, I actually messaged him recently. Um, so five years after I messaged him, um, 
like last time, I messaged him again and be like, hey, I found your eyed up stream channel. I'm really enjoying the highlights and a good job that good job to the editor or something like this. I think I wrote this. I don't want to show my DMs, of course. That don't, don't do don't do this. So, um, but yeah, he made a, a highlight channel. So if you want to watch more, I guess chill relaxed eyed ups he has a, a a little bit of an eyed up stream channel now he didn't upload upload it for there uh, there for a while but maybe the editor is busy or something else so very cool very cool to see him you know get into streaming because i'm eyed up since streaming would totally work right let's be honest i think so at the end of 2015 and up to 2016 i was an intern and met chris um to really, uh, before going way too much in depth. So I met Chris. He was a, a self-employed uh, 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 person, <laughs> human being. And and yeah, showed me a lot of things that I just couldn't... I didn't know as a 20-year-old. Um, and I never really read uh, any books. And I, I wasn't really like good in learning, I guess, at that point. You know, I was just doing my thing. And I'm like, no, what I'm doing is good, right? I'm doing my, I'm doing my stuff. I'm doing good. Do you don't do you, don't you see my channel with four thousand subscribers or something? I was an idiot. And he, yeah, he really taught me a couple things. Uh, a couple things, actually, a lot of things. So thanks to him, actually, my life pretty much switched from 2016 and onward. It, like had a massive shift on how I think about stuff, how I approach some stuff. And he also was in a video, so uh, he briefly recorded this party right here. Also a little uh, behind the scenes and outtakes of my gaming flops of 2015. So yeah, I made another video one year later of just talking about the games that I liked and disliked playing. Nice. Still doing, you know, the explosion thing because it's funny, you know. Add explosion here. Okay, Daniel is lazy right now with editing. Never mind. Finding 32 is a 2D. Finding 32 is a 2. Finding 32 is a. Yes, that's pretty much still me with, you know, reading scripts. It's literally the same. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that was good laugh. So that was pretty much him, you know, doing that. Uh, that, that was Chris pretty much who was uh, recording me. And as I mentioned, I also made a highlight video of 2015. And you may recognize the game. It's it's a brand new game, kind of. Um, and it's uh, it, this video shows the beginning of the end. Update Number two, Path of Exile. The following clip sums up how I feel about this game. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Path of Exile is a- Yeah, yeah, no, very, very, very accurate. Yes, very. <laughs> the beginning of the end. Since then, I'm addicted. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of interesting. I played this game. I thought I started playing in 2016. So I started even earlier. So one of the last videos I made about Terraria was a challenge. Uh, so I tried something different with that. Um... To see if 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 you know if I can hook people with it, right? Is this is this the type of content that I could maybe do like once a week to still grow the channel? And I think I was just too lazy when it comes to it because I could have totally done that. Um, and think of you know many different challenges with bosses and weapons and armor and all this jazz, but I didn't. So I made the tur turtle armor plus paladin hammer versus Duke Fisher on expert mode. Keep in mind, Duke Fisher on is re ridiculous in expert mode it is dumb he's so bloody fast so it was quite something and also paladin hammer is a weapon you throw and comes back to you it's kind of like the the thor hammer right this time turtle armor plus paladin hammer versus duke fish run i actually got this suggested but because i'm an insane person <laughs> we're gonna do this in expert mode <laughs> Pog. Keep in mind, this series is a... So that's actually a kind of cool edit I did there, you know? Like, it's kind of cool. Like, it's... But keep in mind, this, this was my plan, right? To show the videos that I made, but in a different light. And this was kind of like editing, obviously, more. Showing it... Uh, you have to put a little bit more effort into this stuff. And so, yeah. Obviously, I asked for feedback. More. So more edits, you know? Yeah. I know. It's surprising. Accessories. Frost spark boots. Obsidian shield. Steam punk wings. Philosopher's stone. Worm scarf. And frozen turtle shell. Good. So yeah, uh, yeah, just put out, you know, took a lot of effort to do this. 
in the end of the day, it might have been worth because it get, get garnered like, you know, 19,000 views now. You know, it's kind of a cool video, maybe. I think it's, if I change, I think it, I think it would have been better if I changed it a little bit. So less explanatory, more action, right? So I'm pretty sure if I could have just condensed the first, what, six minutes, two minutes or something of me explaining what I'm wearing and what I'm using into like the first 30 seconds of the video in an over big overview instead of going slowly over it and then just showing action, action, action with cool music, I think that would have probably worked better, right? But yeah, after this, I kind of maybe realized uh, over the next few months of thinking of content that my drive to make Terraria content was diminishing and uh, because I played way too much online and offline. And yeah, I slowed down making content over the next six months. Uh, on the other side, I made some Stardew Valley content um, or playthrough. That is, funny enough, in my new apartment already. So I wasn't, like, living with my mom anymore. Because at the beginning of that year, I was living with my mom. But at that point, I already switched, as you can see from the background. We are gonna make um, so much fucking cash. No, wait. No, I still I still lived with my mom. Yes, I still lived with my mom. Because I think in July, one month afterward, I was, uh, I was moving out. So, yeah. Um, this is the last episode. Part 14, Too Late. Back in 2016, it was one of the last videos, as you can see, if you go on the channel, is that right here. Stream, uh... So yeah, this is kind of the last video I kind of really made on that channel, because this video right here is, uh, we can talk about this later. Wait, what did I write in the script? This moment exists, I guess. Okay, I don't know what I meant with that. I completely forgot what I wrote yesterday. So check it out. Also, uh, keep in mind, this is obviously going to be edited, so like... Don't worry, you know, I'm not going to be the next uh, Jinx or something, you know, or, or Idubs, you know. <laughs> I want to be like Idubs. He makes the cancer content I I, I try to do yep. to reach Idubs cancer level. Okay, calm down, man. I have to kiss Filthy Frank. Only this. Okay, that, okay that's kind of good. Okay. <laughs> You're not just, who doesn't want to see like a, a, a homie kissing another homie, you know? Yep, 2015, 2016 content, yep, yep. Um, yeah, me rethinking on how to approach content and seeing new videos that aren't Terraria getting a tenth of the views, I decided to move to a new channel. So this is where we are right now. So June 11th, 2016 is when this channel here right now was created. And yeah, I continued on making gaming content and, you know, without needing to make Terraria stuff, I was just able to do whatever I wanted. So you saw a lot of like some stream highlight videos because I was actively streaming since a couple of years already. And also some, well, an AM2R Let's Play. So another Metroid 2 remake Let's Play, which still has the best intro I have ever done, ever. It looks so sick. I still love it. Let me find it. I mean, it's good, right? I mean, look at it. Look at this. That's cool. Like, you would watch that. You would watch that Let's Play, right? You would. Come on. But yeah, even though this is the best intro you probably have ever seen in your entire life, I sadly have to say my gaming content would be going away very soon because I found something that no other 20-year-old found self-help books as, as mentioned earlier i streamed since many years now and also made a stream 93 channel okay so we really need the whiteboard now you know like it's getting complicated with all these channels but anyways so i made this channel uh back in the day i think it's also like 2016 yeah it's december 2016 and uh i had some highlights on this i think they're still saved um I don't know. I don't even know what what they are. I know there is a League of Legends. There, there is League of Legends content, which is wow, League of Legends. Wow, because I was very much into League of Legends back in the day, but now I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> Hell no. After many years being unemployed, this may have been the year I started working as a taxi driver. I think. Um, but with 80 hour work weeks and having you know having to sit like 12 hours a day in a bloody car 
after nine months, I was done with that job. My focus also shifted towards um, getting a degree, a bachelor degree at a local university. Uh, but it took them three years to take me. And after the first semester, I dropped out. Hi, Daniel here. During recording, I found something else that I did in 2017, which was an anime podcast in German which was called AKA Podcast, so for anti-kawaii anime podcast. Yes, I'm really good at names. I know, I know, thank you. <laughs> I can't really show anything because I pretty much deleted it off of the internet at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. And I made a lot of videos, uh, or let us say videos as well as, you know, podcast episodes. Specifically, you know, those many, so it's like, Episode 55, we had like a special, I guess, of an interview, Monster Hunter World for some reason, I don't know, One Piece. So, um, yeah, I edited those. I mean, we can briefly, I guess, look into the first episode or listen in. I Hello and welcome to the first episode of this AKA Podcasts. First of all, prost. I have a coffee. I don't know what you're drinking. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I remember doing a lot of work in uh, Adobe Audition with this, so which is the, the music software for it. Not creating music, but you know, for editing music. And um, yeah, I, I really tried my best, you know, editing those videos and, and, and uh, or, or, well, videos as well as audios, because there were videos to those episodes. So every episode you see right here was uploaded to SoundCloud. I paid for it so it gets picked up by iTunes and I think other stuff and also made videos out of it, which was just a still frame with, you know, audio edited, I think. Uh, in the meantime, I met one person through uh, one of the projects I did with Chris, which was Bernhard. Um, he is a colleague now where I work at, and thanks to him and his wife, I actually got into the job, thankfully, where I worked right now. And... Now, funny enough, you saw the PC I had earlier, right? The hardware in that PC, more or less, is now... Uh, uh, his son has it now, and I, funny enough, I actually just yesterday played with him Path of Exile, which is like... What is happening? <laughs> just, it goes all circled, it's all a massive circle, bro. <laughs> So jokes aside, we made a video which was the Chinese candy challenge uh, where I ate some very tasty, uh, you know, chicken feet. Yes, you heard right. Oh my god, why is this looking so... Oh my... Holy heck. Dude, this is nostalgic and this is just four years old. Oh my god, you don't see it. There you go. This is nostalgic as heck and this is just four years old, dude. That's why it's... Not even four years old. It's not even December. <laughs> Yes, good job, Daniel. Because I was living in the student dorm, I got, uh, I had a friend, like, student, which was from China. And she brought a lot of sweets over, you know. Uh, so thanks to her, I was able to make this video, which was, like, a really fun video, right? Because it was more into, like, real-life content, more or less. I was more, like, gaming. And uh, Gloria was more, like, I don't exactly know what her content was back then. But I think, like, a, ch a Chinese candy challenge never sounds not fun, you know? So I was like, let's do this together. We did, by the way, good freeze frame here, right there. And wait, where's the where's the chicken feet? Where are the chicken feet? I wanna I wanna hear that crunch. You YouTube hates this video. Oh, you don't even hear anything, man. It actually for me it actually was like a like a crunch because there was a bone in there somewhere. But I think it was like slowly cooked over I don't know thousands of hours maybe, and then just you know I don't know. It's not good. Don't don't eat it. You know. <laughs> So yeah, I made. I also then made some regular vlog Sunday videos um, that were normal on my old channel. So I continued on with like a season two kind of. And uh, by now they are all privated because they are just not interesting. They don't fit this channel now. I learned to not delete everything that doesn't fit. Previously, I deleted it all. Now I'm just privating it, right? Because so I only I have caught like access to it but nobody else not that i don't want anybody else to have access to it but it just doesn't fit the channel and i could also just say i put it unlisted but i also don't know what i put into those videos and what i said in those videos so it's probably better to private them right and yeah vlog sunday for people who don't know what that is vlog sunday is pretty much just me in front of a camera talking similar to this but i was more talking about 
what was my work day or what is what is my week? How am I doing? What am I working on? Blah, blah, blah. So just more behind the scenes inside of who I am, what I do. It was also mostly used for me to um, reflect on a lot of stuff, which was something I learned thanks to Chris and also through the self-help books, right? Reflecting is important which I, funny enough, don't do anymore. <laughs> so, I don't know, is that good or bad now? Um... So I made a 64 facts about me video um, in 2018. So if you want to check that out, uh, go check it out. Hello, welcome to this. Who is this Daniel guy? No, what I'm is... more wondering. I don't care who you are. I'm just wondering where did you like, why did you steal those glasses and from whom? <laughs> So yeah, it's actually might it might be funny for some people to see this now because it's been now like, four months or something since I have been in the student apartment because you know new apartment here. Um, God, it feels weird seeing my old apartment. God damn it, it feels weird. I don't know if it's um I'm sad or I'm just like I was living in this five years. I mean it was not. I moved them. I moved from one apartment to the next, but it was still in the same building. But still. So, uh, yeah, remember self-help books? Yeah, those things. Um, so after reading a lot of them in 2017 and 2018, I was thinking of making self-help videos as a 20-year-old. Yes, it sounds dumb, it was dumb, and it was egotistical. It was a really bad idea. It took me a, a, some time to realize this, but uh, yeah, I stopped this thankfully the same year and didn't like, you know, make this my main goal for the next five years. So I stopped in the same year as far as I remember, uh, or maybe in 2019, something like this. And obviously those videos are also private because they just do not fit the channel. I somewhat got back into Terraria after, you know, not playing it for a while, you know, taking uh, a back burn on that. And I tried to make a new... A channel so i made muesli mind so muesli is pretty much german for um cereal so it's it's cereal mind if you want to translate it or something like this so it's pretty much just let's place of me uh three years ago so it's already like a long time ago now um of me just playing the game and giving a guide on how to play a mage uh, no, uh, no i think it was the ranger playthrough so i actually made the range playthrough so i pretty much had like tasks and items you needed for hard mode and pre-hard mode uh, there was like a, a png file i made it or i think it wasn't made in an indie sign and just some somewhat of, of a checklist you can follow on how to beat terraria as a ranger playthrough or with a range character right because Terraria is very big, it's very complicated. And I realized back then, three years ago, that people don't know that there are different archetypes in Terraria. You know, there's like melee, there's range, there's uh, uh, mage, uh, there is summoner. So there are different things that do different types of damage and you have to look at this, you know. And yeah, back then I realized, oh, this is like not common knowledge, I guess, because people don't read sometimes. So... I tried to make this let's play right and i think it actually got some good views to be honest like look at this this is a brand new channel on episode 22 and it got 760 views this is a channel that never existed like what a couple weeks up before this it's pretty good so yeah either way um i stopped that sadly for now um because i i, I think i just didn't feel like doing more of this so um who knows maybe i'll re return someday 2019 everyone i remember this year for one thing and one thing only and so do a lot of people i think hollow knight silk song the reveal trailer was released on february 14th valentine's day valentine's day i watched it offline first and a couple days later i think i streamed it and uh yeah just put my thoughts into video form and yeah, by the way, great thumbnail, by the way. Just beautiful meme. Funny thing, at this point, I didn't even watch Jojo yet. And also had my Kigurumi. Uh, very good. Jump to no. Kigurumi is very important to make the fuse. But yeah, I don't think we need to watch like the whole Hollow Knight uh, reveal trailer. It's bloody sick. I went through it very, in, uh, like so much in detail. Like it was pretty much just me reacting two minutes and then 20 minutes of just me talking about it. <laughs> It's like, it's not my thoughts on, it's pretty much like, 
time to dig into the trailer for 20 minutes straight alive. Uh, but yeah, this video got 2,700 views. Uh, it's still, I think, growing to this day because, you know, Hollow Knight and Silk Song and the hype is growing and growing and uh, the community is getting bigger and bigger. And yeah, it's... I think it's still a good... I think it's still a good video, right? But yeah, with E3 also happening later that year, I made another live... Uh, or I made some sort of live stream where I re reacted to a lot of trailers. One of those trailers was Terraria 1.4, or also called Journey's End, which we have, which has released by now. So yeah, this video right here, I uploaded also on my Daniel BR 1993 channel, as you can see here, which is right down here. And I also put it here as my main thing. Uh, so that was two years ago. So pretty much after three years, if you're subscribed to this channel, you somehow got another like video in the in, in your subscription box and you're like who the heck is this guy what the what the heck <laughs> like probably happened to some people i also compared it to terraria 1.3 the trailer yeah i'm not a fan of journey's end i said it many times the terraria 1.3 trailer by ymir which was a, a popular uh, terraria let's player or content creator back in the day uh, just did an, an amazing job creating the trailer with tension and and he just knows on how to like you know make a video it was clear the journey's end which was i think also created from content creators they didn't really know what to put into a video maybe or it was more or less the issue of the update itself and the problem was there really is not so much you can show in Journey's End, I feel like. But anyways, that's a whole other rant we can maybe do another day. So yeah, I think 2019 was also the time I started being a little bit more open creating uh, Path of Exile content at that point. And I can understand that Path of Exile content is very boring. Like, if you don't know the game, if you don't know what's happening, uh, there's so much stuff. Uh, so I try to make, if I make Path of Exile content, I either make it and you can completely ignore it. Or if I mention it in a video, I mention it briefly. So this was me mentioning Path of Exile. Let's move on. <laughs> so some more PoE trailer reaction stuff of me, you know, talking about the trailers, reacting to them and giving my thoughts on it. And, and you know, uh, putting my theories to the test if I'm right or not. Either way. 2020 was probably the year with the least amount of content. I think I already put out twice as much content this year than last year or something. Like this. I don't even know. So yeah, it, not much has happened 2020. Uh, pretty much a dead year when it comes to content on YouTube. But if you've been watching my stream, you would have you, you would have had so much content, right? Like thousands of hours. Okay, maybe not thousands, but a lot more. So yeah, now it's 2021. Holy heck, it, it, I'm recording since two hours nearly. My brain is frying right now. So yeah, 2021. Um, so yeah, more more videos about Path of Exile, giving my thoughts, an introduction to Path of Exile that I edited that took quite a long time. Um, it gained, it got, you know, it had zero views. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, but but yeah, you know, some content just doesn't stick with people. I'm fine with it. I put it out. I'm happy I put it out. And if nobody watches it, well, at least I'm happy with the video, right? It, I would be way more disgusted with myself if I put out a video I don't like, but it gets views. Because then I'm like mentally thinking, what? what? No, like, no. So I'm really happy I put it out. And there's that. Uh, my recent video about the games I played in 2021 already like at 20 views. Either way, it's four days old. It's a video. It's one hour long, dude. Um, so thanks for everybody who watched that. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I will definitely make more videos like that. Uh, so pretty much every six months, hopefully. <laughs> and beside that, I made a new race highlight video of uh, Caleb Hart, uh, Oats and Goats and Albies that made a race together of five games, three people, one race. Um... And it was very fun. I, I got them loved the live stream because I watched it all when I was editing it. And I watched it many more times while I was editing it. Down and down and down and down from 3 hours to 53 minutes of just absolutely beauty. It's, it's just hilarious. And I'm really happy that people 
like it more because it has over 100 views. It's uh, uh, on Discord. I had a couple people message me and you know, be like, yeah, that's cool. Thanks for making this, you know. Uh, also on Twitter, Caleb Hart actually retweeted it. So I'm happy about that. So thank you very much for Caleb. So yeah, now we're here. 10 years after I created my original channel. I'm tearing up, man. I'm tearing up. No, seriously, I'm tearing up. I'm a pussy, okay? I watch One Piece intros and I'm crying. Okay, maybe not. But <laughs> so being active on the internet with a variety of content, I say this much. Don't do what I did. <laughs> so yeah, focus on one thing and really put your time and effort into this one thing. Do it really, really, really goddamn good. I think that makes a lot more sense than changing content every five months and hoping something sticks to the wall. But of course, on the other side, you also have to like reflect and realize if certain content dies and then, you know, you might have to shift and, you know, focus your full attention on this, right? I'm saying this being a variety streamer. <laughs> Good. Very nice. GG, dude. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until now. I don't know how long this video is. Um, I'm tearing up right now. And I will grab a coffee and edit this video now. And I will hopefully see you on Sunday. So, and on maybe future videos and future streams. So.